You are welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 22nd day of February 2022, and our topic for today is Benefits of a Lockdown, Part 1. Let us pray. Our great and mighty Father, our loving King and Friend, the one who has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Father, we are grateful for your love. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for sustenance. Indeed, we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are about to go into your word. We ask that you would come and open the eyes of our understanding. Help us today to receive inspiration and guidance. Please speak to our situations and address every troubled heart. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 27 verse 5. Psalm 27 verse 5 reads, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Psalm 27 verse 5 Our scripture reading for today is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 22 from verse 1 to 2. 1 Samuel 22 from verse 1 to 2 reads, David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And everyone that was in distress and everyone that was in debt and everyone that was discontented gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them, and there were with him about four hundred men. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The topic we are studying one more time for today is Benefits of a Lockdown, Part 1. And in our devotional today, our Father and the Lord tells us that one lesson or benefit of a lockdown is the opportunity to develop one's hidden potential. The hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day human activities often rob us of the opportunity for meditation and spiritual growth. Had it not been for the lockdown David suffered when he was running away from his sworn enemy, King Saul, he would not have been able to develop his leadership potential and produce great warriors from the downtrodden, distressed and discontented young men of Israel that formed his first army. 1 Samuel chapter 22 verse 2 reads, And everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented, gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them, and there were with him about 400 men. The result of David's lockdown in the cave of Adullam is evident in the account of those people regarded as vagabonds, who became mighty men of valor in his army, as written in 2 Samuel chapter 23. One of them, the son of Dodo, was described thus, and after him was Eliza, the son of Dodo, the Ahahohite. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand grew weary and his hand clave unto the sword, and the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to spoil. 2 Samuel 23 verse 9 to 10 A time of lockdown, whichever form it takes, should be spent in such a way as to bring the best out of us. David was not sitting to brood over his troubles when being pursued by King Saul. He used the period of his lockdown to develop his military acumen and raise an army of men who would eventually become his generals. Little wonder he had a standing army in contrast to the ad hoc army of his predecessor. Beloved, during your period of low estate, Find out what God would want you to do, and it will surprise you that you will come out stronger to do exploits. In whatever situation you may find yourself, ask the Almighty God to open your eyes to lessons to be learned and opportunities to be seized, just as Joseph did, rising from being a prisoner to becoming the Prime Minister. Genesis chapter 40 to chapter 41. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today's devotional one more time is Benefits of a Lockdown Part 1. It may interest you to know 
that the victorious and exemplary Christian life is not one that is without downtimes. God has never promised us that we will live a life without any issue at all. He however tells us in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 that when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Consider carefully that it says when thou passest through the waters. It is not saying if thou passest. The word there is an assurance that we will definitely pass through the waters. It says when thou passest. We may not have the assurance of living a life without a fight. The assurance that God has given us is that even through the fight, he would be right there with us. Even through those down times and those down moments, we would not be overtaken by them. Hallelujah. Talking about lockdowns like in the context of our devotional today, we can understand it to mean a trying or a challenging time in a person's life. In the case of David that we considered, for example, in today's devotional, he was on the run. He was running away from his sworn enemy, King Saul. That very moment, King Saul would kill him at the slightest opportunity. So his stay at the cave of Adullam was a really trying moment for him. But we can understand from scripture and our devotional today that in the end, he came out bigger, better and stronger. His period of stay at the cave of Adullam was not one that was spent in lamenting. That is one lesson we must learn as believers. When we pass through the waters and through the fires, we must learn to maximize the opportunity. Because sometimes, these are seasons in our lives that are meant to press and to squeeze us to bring out new wine. Spending time upon the pain of the crushing would most times make us to lose out on the intention of God for that process. For David, he was on the run for his life. For someone listening, it could be that you are passing through one financial difficulty or the other. Or maybe you just lost your job, so you are passing through a really hard time. Focusing on the brighter side of things is what would make you come out of the process stronger and better. Why not seize the opportunity of the extra time you now have to invest into other things? Now you have more time to study. You have more time to spend in God's presence. You have more time to learn a new skill. You can afford to invest in yourself, sharpening yourself until you become the best version of you. Do not waste the opportunity. One man of God I respect so much, Apostle Joshua Selman, would always say, do not waste the pain. It is possible to channel this pain properly, to produce results that would make you a sign and a wonder, results that would surprise even yourself. Praise God. We learned from our devotional today that we have potentials hidden in us. And times like these are the best times to bring those potentials out. David used that opportunity of his time in the cave of Adullam to develop and also to work upon his leadership potential. We learn from this that this may not be a time to lock yourself up and become introverted, thinking day and night about the issue at hand. That may land the person on the bed of depression. There is so much God can use us to achieve if only we would take our eyes off the pain and trust him through the process. Hallelujah. Now when we talk about lockdowns, Times like this could come as a result of activities in a man's life. However, as believers, I would also like to add that sometimes it is really important that we take time out away from our busy schedules, away from the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day human activities, like our Father and the Lord would put it, to take time to really meditate and seek spiritual growth. Many times this is called a retreat. You take out time intentionally to develop yourself, to go away from the noise of everyday activities and to connect to your source of sustenance. Hallelujah. This is one major secret of many people doing exploits for the Lord today. No matter how tight their schedules can be, they are not consumed and overwhelmed with activities and sometimes it can really get tight. They recognize that they cannot run on their own strength so they find time to lock themselves down with God to recharge their spiritual batteries. That is how they maintain their spiritual fire and remain relevant as an instrument to be used of God in their generation. Hallelujah! From scripture, we can count a number of people who experienced lockdowns at one point in their lives and came out even stronger. Jacob is an example. He left his father's house practically with nothing and through the process of forming and making, he returned as a man blessed by God. Joseph too, sold into slavery but ended up as a prime minister. 
one common thing you learn with these people is that they never ignored the process. They gave themselves to it. They surrendered themselves to the heat that purified and refined them. And in the end, they were better off for it. Our Lord Jesus also had an experience that we can all learn from. One that shifted him and launched him into his earthly ministry. In Luke chapter 4 verse 1, Scripture tells us that he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. In verse 13 we are told, And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Verse 14 is our verse of emphasis. It says, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. His fame only went abroad after going through this wilderness experience. It became undeniable that he had touched something. Praise the Lord. We trust God today to maximize our times of lockdown in the name of Jesus. We'd bow our heads now and pray. We'd say, Father, please grant me the grace to pull through every situation I'm currently undergoing in the name of Jesus. Ask him for the grace, the power, the ability, the strength to remain and to submit to the process. In the crushing, he's making new wine. Hallelujah. We would never remain the same again. Ask him also that our eyes would be open to the lessons that we must learn and the things we must do through this period in the name of Jesus. Let it not be the case of wasted pain. Let our lives be truly transformed and better for it. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for all that you have taught us today. Thank you for helping us understand that we can only get better. Grant us the grace to hold on through the process and to come out refined. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. We have an action point today that tells us, Learn obedience in any time of distress. Praise the Lord. Obedience could prove to be very tough when we pass through distress, but we receive the grace today to submit to obedience, to learn obedience at all times in Jesus' name. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Numbers chapter 32 down to chapter 33. Hallelujah. We would also appreciate you for joining us today. We trust God that you have been blessed. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. As you go for today, receive the grace to be transformed into God's intended version of you in Jesus' name. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now.
enjoyed today's devotional we'd love to hear from you kindly leave a comment you can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached god bless you have a great day and see you tomorrow